Enjoying the distraction series? Has it been blessing you? This one's really gonna bless you and it's really gonna be quick. It's not gonna take me long at all. Adamandbeliever.com forward slash distractions three dot pdf. Look at somebody say religious rights. Man, man, oh man. Our people. I know I mentioned white people earlier now. I'm a talk about the other shade black folks <sighs> there is something wrong with everything now because of us you put up oh, happy thanksgiving oh i don't celebrate that you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. oh no no that ain't our holiday that's the Merry Christmas. Oh, no, that's pagan. It's pagan. Happy New Year. Mm -mm. No, we don't do the Happy New Year's. Because we found out that you found out. Like your family. All the families are just divided. Everybody can't gather because everybody believes something different now. It didn't come up? Nope. Probably because I didn't load it. <laughs> you know, that, that, that's, you know, it's a necessary process. I had, you know, the grandbaby. We're going to blame it on the grandbaby because, you know, I ain't been able to think of much else. Yeah, pregnancy brain. My daughter got it. I got it too. We should, we should. Pregnancy brain. Yes, I can't do everything. Amen. But, but that's what this beautiful screen is for. I mean, you can see the hairs on his arm from the exit sign. <laughs> I mean, his nails, he need a manicure. You can see all kind of stuff that you used to didn't be able to see. <laughs> Look at God's advancement in the kingdom. But religious rights, folks, are, are folks crazy. You can't wish, you can't send cards to your family. You can't wish them nothing on You can't say nothing now. Because they believe, everybody believes something different. And it all came from YouTube. It all came from YouTube. Because when the truth is shown on YouTube and the sidebar is all the uh, videos against what you just watched. And most folks are dumb enough to click it. Now you just received the word and you're going to click the anti-word. You're going to be spiritually schizophrenic. But the biggest problem is you can't know the truth if you don't know yourself. That's folks' problem. Without Jesus Christ, none of us know ourselves. Without the blood of Jesus washing us and making us new creations, we don't know who we are. Right. So we will constantly gravitate to anything that sounds good to the way we're feeling at that moment. Yeah, yeah. And it's just that moment. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Amen. Amen. Folk crazy. Used to be around the holidays, the entire family would get together both sides of the family, everyone would cook, eat, whatever, we'd all be together. Now, nope, can't come together because half of them believe this, half of them believe that. Them. Amen. Yeah. And everything is pagan. Got a dude tell me, brother, you know, that's pagan. Brother, you drive a Ram truck with, uh, with Baphomet as your logo. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's so stupid. All the logos are pagan. All the companies are pagan. The days of the week are pagan. You worried about Sunday and you, you, what about moon day? Still having fish fries. That's Friar's Day. That's celebration the day gone on Fridays. You didn't know that. You driving around looking for a catfish place. And where you're really messing up, catfish isn't a real fish. 
Real fish have scales, not skin. Look, somebody like, now wait a minute. I was into it, I was with you, I was following you. <laughs> Cause what you're supposed to do is just peel the skin off. And then it is fish underneath. It's not a fish. Hey Amen, fish don't have no mustache. Why does a fish have a mustache? That's, that's letting you know right there that's a mutant DNA that you are consuming. Some of them ain't getting with me. Herman ain't getting with me. Look at him. He just like Somebody going to eat it today, no matter what I say. See, Pastor, I hear you. Now, I heard what you said. But if you put anything in grease, it gets purified by the Fahrenheit heat levels. Just drop it in some grease and we're going to work it out. <laughs> ain't no mustache on the fish I eat. When I eat catfish, I never see that. <laughs> yeah, but you're just worshiping. Everybody's got what they're going to worship. What they gonna... And did you know that the Bible specifically says don't argue about that stuff? The Bible specifically says don't be in disagreement about non-heaven or hell issues. Oh, I'm about to preach it. Let me preach it. See, people are looking for the Antichrist. That's him. That's him right there. Antichrist is going to be the hive mind. Everybody believing the same thing to form the same thing. An anti-God movement. They're making our world anti-God. That's what CERN's whole purpose was. Yes. To pull frequencies out of space to bring them. To come in between our ability to connect with God. Yes. I've taught y'all about God being a frequency being. Yes. He operates and he communes with us through frequency. That's why sometimes you can actually feel him. You feel him. Oh, there's a lot to that song. I've got a feeling. Yes, sir. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Sometimes you actually yeah. feel him. Yeah. Anybody ever felt him? Yeah. You feel him. There's a reason why some of them old folks, hey, they felt him. I yeah. <laughs> know none of that is, you know, that's not proper now, but sometimes you feel him. Amen. When you're about to do the dumbest thing you've ever done in your whole dumb life, you all oh, feel him. Can't do that. Then he brings to remembrance the consequence that happened the last time. See, that's too, that's, amen. amen. Everybody in here, okay. Y'all don't feel it. But it's frequencies, and that's what all this is. They're bringing these frequencies from CERN to cause interference between us and the heavenly realm so we can't commune properly with God. That's why now it's harder to connect. Used to be you could just get on your knees and, oh, thank you, and he's right there. Yeah. Now you get on your knees, you think about stuff. Wait a minute, let me, oh man, what, why am I thinking about that? What is, what is, it's confusion. Frequencies, interruption, interference. Oh, I got a whole message about that coming, so amen got time for it today but this is the ant this is antichrist right here the hive mind everybody believing the same thing ever type something on on facebook or something and then all these folk disagree and just come just pop 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 disagreement disagreement they bots they're not even real people they're programmed algorithms to disagree and every time you get a niche on stopping that facebook changed the rules again create a new way for them to come because it's important for every opinion to be countered to form a hive mind. Because everyone has to believe the same thing. Technology was created so that people could eventually govern themselves without a visible ruling power over them. You didn't need a ruling power when the pandemic was going on. All you needed was technology. Technology was lord of the pandemic. Yeah. Folks were scared because of social media. Yeah. 
scared because of the news. They can just watch, listen, and replicate what social media is feeding them. There are some people that don't even, I mean, all they do is do what social media tells them. 1 John 2 and 16, for all that is in this world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. That sounds like social media. Yeah. 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 Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of this world. Yeah. That's what the internet promotes. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, pride of life. Some of the stuff you would have never bought if you hadn't seen it on the internet. Can I keep preaching? Yes. Public opinion is guiding the source of information for this age. Public opinion. People no longer trust parents, preachers, or their elders for knowledge. They trust public opinion. They say they. Who is they? They. They say. That's who they trust. They say I heard I heard and they say the offended people will always find error in those that God has placed over them they replace God's leaders with influencers information and beliefs that oppose godly authority it's so easy to get upset with a godly authority and then go online and find the person that will agree with you about why you are upset. So that, is, that basically means that people don't ever have to be reprimanded. They can totally avoid rebuke. Because if you rebuke them, they go get somebody to side with them. Right on their phone. Instantaneously. First John 4 and 3, and every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh and is not of God, and this is that spirit of what? Antichrist. Wherefore ye have heard that it should come even now, it is already in the world. That is the spirit of Antichrist that confesses what? Not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh and is not of God. What is that saying? That's saying that Jesus Christ is Lord. That means he's in control. And anything that takes away his control is anti-Christ. So his influence over your life. If social media influences you more than Jesus Christ, it is anti-Christ in your life. Does that make sense? People that have offense in their hearts and this is just our world now. Fatherlessness leads to offenses. People that don't forgive their father, people that they can't forgive leadership, people that are upset with their mother. I'm, I'm getting a lot of that lately. Hate their mom. I ain't spoke to my mom in three, four years, five years, ten years. Those are offended people. When you go that long without talking to a godly authority, you're offended. Hey Amen. Don't tell me there's something wrong with them. No, you're offended. Or you would have made an effort. That's okay. Y'all ain't going to get with me today. Amen. But they have offenses because of this. Yeah. That's why, you know, I try to tell people, you know, these folks try to blur the lines between morality and all of that. Immorality causes the offenses. Yeah. Amen. You keep being sexually active, somebody gonna have a baby. Then you got a baby, and if you don't want the baby, but the baby's born, that baby knows you don't want them. Babies are born with diseases because of the negativity spoken over them while they were forming. Autoimmune responses. Their immune system goes haywire and tries to fight the negativity thinking it's an enemy of the development. And it causes an autoimmune response in the forming child. Am I telling the truth, doctor? 
Amen. What other doctor? Am I telling the truth? That's why I need the doctors to back me up. Because y'all know I'm a bootleg physician. Amen. Don't have no degree. But I lay hands on you. Amen. But people that have offense in their hearts and have traumatic past will gravitate toward these false doctrines and belief systems. Yeah, if you hate family, you're going to find a video where family coming together is wrong. Did you know that Thanksgiving is evil in its origin? Really? Yeah, it was evil. You're saying that because you don't want to have it. Because you don't want to be with your family. Because you're offended by your family. Christmas is the worship of Tammuz. You know that. No, not when I do it. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell Tammuz. <laughs> but I know Jesus Christ. I'm celebrating his birth. Hey, man, I wrote songs about it. Like the hit, hit, go. I got, I, I, hey, I'm worshiping Jesus. Ain't nobody think about no Tammuz. Oh, but see, that was the origin. That's not the origin. That's not the origin. But they say, see, brother, you ain't done your research. Brother, I did, YouTube is, that's not, that's that's not research. Oh, the tree don't see, you don't understand. Jeremiah 10 say that if you take the tree out the forest and put it in your house, first of all, that ain't what it said. People just, man, you're saying that because you hate it, because you hate somebody. If you loved everybody, you'd love for everybody to be around. Whether they're under a tree or under whatever. You'd love presents if you didn't have hate in your heart. No presents ever. That ne- no, never. We're never having presents. No, no, that is pagan. It's pagan when you're upset. Presents make me happy. Does presents make anybody happy when somebody gives you something? When you gotta bust it open and pull it apart and open it up and get surprised? That don't make nobody happy. Look at the bootleg Hebrews in here. Man. (laughs) Just upset. Don't wanna gather. So because you're offended and have traumatic past or trauma in your past, you gravitate toward these false doctrines and belief systems. Instead of accepting the teachings of Jesus Christ that will heal, deliver, and change their behavior, they would rather find and practice beliefs, listen, that allow them to express their issues instead of resolving them. God is going to make you resolve your issue. The word is going to come for you and make you fix what is wrong. What is upset, upsetting you, causing division in your house and in your family. God is going to make you deal with that. Amen. You're not going to be able to get a megaphone and put some purple felt on and get on the corner downtown and yell at the white folks. You ain't going to be able to do that in Christ. Amen. He's going to find out first of all, why you so behind on your child support? Why you out here? Why you ain't working? (laughs) Hebrews 12. (laughs) Hebrews 12 and 15. Looking diligently lest any man fail of the grace of God. Lest any root of bitterness springing up does what? So first step, you start getting troubled by the root of bitterness that you have against folks. You got bitterness in your family. Bitterness against your cousin, your uncles, your mama, your dad. Bitterness. And then once that bitterness springs up, many are going to suffer. You're going to cause many, including yourself, to suffer and be defiled. The philosophies of the offended and the vain deceit of the traumatized are fueling the internet with false doctrines, which may register with the person's pain but fails to bring them closer to Christ. Paul warned about these worldly practices. Colossians 2 and 20. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the systems, the philosophies of this world, why, as 
though living in the world, are you subject to ordinances? So if you're dead to all the rudiment systems and all of the pagan foolishness in this world, then why are you living in the world subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, handle not, which are all to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrine of men. So why y'all even sitting around talking about touch not, taste not? Oh, I don't eat no pork. You don't understand, that's a filthy, filthy dog. Not the one I ate. One I ate was delicious, bro. Didn't taste no filth. Sorry, Anne Marie. They got some pigs out there in the field, some wild ones, where all the meat in them the same color. That thing is delicious. And I'm not saying go make 20 ham sandwiches. But I'm saying, I'm going to eat some bacon. Cook it crispy. Crispy. I'm eating some bacon. Sorry, bruh. I know that offends you. But I'm a, I, I just won't eat it around you. I, I'll wait till you leave. And I get the sizzling. Yeah, we're not the Bible's... Why are we sitting around? Oh, don't touch. Oh, don't eat. Oh, don't. Yeah. Then they try to bring the health, but it's, it's so unhealthy for you. Everything's unhealthy. Yeah. That pig ain't no more unhealthy than that can of spam you eat. <laughs> spam is delicious. You ain't ever fried it. Put a slice of government cheese on it. Y'all didn't grow up like I did. You put a slice of that cheese that can't melt unmeltable cheese that that cheese cannot melt you can put that cheese on the sun and it will hold its form that cheese ain't going nowhere cheese be looking at you like this turn the heat up <laughs> you don't understand i'm fortified by the government there's a thousand ingredients on the side of that box a thousand of them I've never seen more ingredients. You know how you eat cereal and you read the box? Anybody used to do that? Yes. Well, one day I decided to eat the government, read the government cheese at my grandma. I decided to read the, the box. It's a scientific experiment. <laughs> There's a whole equation on the side of that box. <laughs> yeah, but you worried about the wrong thing. You don't eat perfectly. You don't. Don't be talking to me about my bacon and you eat honey buns. Brother, don't you come talking to me about my bacon and you pop a certs in your mouth. Chewing hubba bubba and the gum that's the tape, the long round one just the, with all the powder on it. Big lead chew. You eating all that, but don't eat no It just don't make sense. Now that's the thing. They won't eat no pork, but they'll smoke that weed. Smoke it. Smoke it till their lips look like a smoker. I just don't understand. That's why God said, that's why Paul is said, don't be, don't debate that foolishness. Because look at what you're doing. The word philosophy literally means love of wisdom. And every philosophy, ancient or modern, is essentially a humanistic devotion demands wisdom for its own sake. So loving wisdom and searching for it is not the path to Christ. Can I say that again for the folks in the overflow? Loving wisdom and searching for it is not, God is not going to put you on a path to search for him. You don't search for him, you seek him. There's a big difference. You go to Googling and searching, you're going to end up on a witch's page. Then you got all the ancient knowledge and the, now you're so smart, can't nobody do nothing with you. Sure, we, we should want wisdom, but it has to be from above 
James 3 and 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure. And listen, you don't get along with nobody. None of your family. Every time you talk about what you believe, it ends in an argument. So that tells me that your wisdom is not from above. Because the wisdom from above, the second qualification is it's peaceable. It's peaceable. Then it's gentle. You ain't gentle. You crazy. Oh, well, see, brother, I, mean, I hear you. But what about this? No, 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 brother. Nah, 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 I hear that too. But what about this? Oh, oh, see, I see, I see what you're doing. See, I see what you're trying to do. That's, that's not peaceable. And that's not gentle. So that's not the wisdom from above. That's not pure. You know why it's not pure? Because your agenda's in it. It can't be pure if you're lodged in it. And then it's easy to be entreated. That means to be to get along with. That's how I know it's not God. Can't nobody get along with you. You in your fourth marriage. Brother King, you can't stay married to nobody. That's not, you're not easily entreated. Then it's full of mercy. And here's the one. Good fruits. Have you produced any good fruits from your crazy belief you just started believing? Walking around with an old scroll, prepared for an argument. Hey, brother, I heard about what you believe. Full of mercy and good fruits without partiality. Ooh, now I know your wisdom is whack. Because you're partial. You're partial to a race. Am I preaching, Jay Bryan? I, I feel like I am. And without hypocrisy. Remember the ham and the wheat? That's hypocrisy. <laughs> You can't be talking about my bacon. Amen. That's hypocrisy. Amen. It is very dangerous to search Google in order to find yourself. I ain't talking about your name. I'm talking about trying to find yourself. Your purpose. Why am I here? You searching Google. Google, I already heard you say it. You know Google be listening. You can have Apple products and Google still listening. Oh yeah, yeah. So soon as you question your existence, the wrong stuff pop up. Now you're bringing crystals to the prayer meeting. You got a little circle around you while you're praying. No, don't bring crystals in here. First of all, they ain't gonna work. And I'm gonna take them and throw them at you. Then they're going to hurt. Just dumb. Dumb. But you found that on the internet. Everything everybody's doing. They found it on the internet. People have adopted all kinds of doctrinally flawed beliefs and separated themselves from loved ones because of it. You don't think that was the devil's plan? Romans 14 and 17, for the kingdom of God is not meat or drink. It ain't about none of that, but righteousness, peace, and what? Anybody got joy in the Holy Ghost? I don't have time to argue with you, brother, because I got joy in the Holy Ghost. Why you out here arguing with folks? I'm somewhere with some joy in the Holy Ghost. People have made their lives miserable because they do not have the freedom that Christ brings and they are under the bondage of philosophy and bad interpretations of scripture. Galatians 5 and 1, stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. How how did Christ make us free? What did he do to make us free? He died on the cross to do what? How does that make us free? He paid what we owe. Right? When you owe something, you're not free until it's paid. 
Amen. He paid what was owed and he made us free. That gives us liberty. Right? So Paul is saying, be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Again? Well, what was the yoke of bondage? The law. The penalty of the law. It was the yoke of bondage. Christ died and made us free from the law of sin and death. According to the Bible. But black folks, it's not the white folks. It's not the white people. Y'all are off on this one. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, Kevin, I see you. It's black folk. Black folks. Get on the internet. Get right back under the law. The opposite of what this scripture says. You are entangled again in the yoke of bondage. They scour YouTube to find people teaching against the things that should not even be judged and have no bearing on one's salvation. Why are you watching teachings on things that have no bearing on salvation? Why are you spending your time arguing about things that aren't even a heaven or hell issue? See, the women should only wear skirts. Hallelujah. (laughs) Pants on a woman are a sin. Well, when certain women wear them, yes. And them same women, the skirt is a sin too. Because neither one of them fit. (laughs) But who's the judge? Don't we're not putting you in hell over that skirt or that or those pants? Just get something that fits better. Amen. Amen. But see, that's what elders are for. The older ladies to teach the younger women. But folk done got away from that. I don't need nobody to teach me when I can just go online and find a solution. Well, you found the wrong solution because you look stank. And that's not the way you should look. And I feel sorry for these young girls and the young men. You know, all the boys, now young boys, they look like girls. Girls, all feeble body, all long hair, earrings. You don't know what they are anymore. Androgynous. Because no man took them under their wing and said this is how a man should appear in public this is what you should look like that's why we look the way we look here in abc amen men we setting an example so these young men will know there's no androgyny here because we don't we know that when there's androgyny a spirit is attached to it once that spirit comes and manifests it's homosexuality Oh, I don't like that church because they always discriminating again. But we ain't discriminating. We just have a look here. We want men to look like men here. We don't want that to be a question. That's our standard. We'll give you a couple of weeks. We'll give you a few weeks. We're going to mess with you. We're going to let you come in here with, with lollipop hair, all different colors everywhere. We're going to give you a couple of weeks. Ain't nobody going to say nothing. But that third week when we feel like you want to be here, hey, bro. Hey man, look now look around. Do you see anybody else in here that looks like you? And we're gonna hope for conviction right there. You know what? Yeah, I, I, I am kind of standing out. Yes, brother. The clown hair don't work in here. Not too well. And then you want respect from people too. So you don't want people already labeling you before they even get to speak to you. That's not just in here, that's everywhere. Brother, you want a good job. You can't show up with red, green, and yellow hair. You ain't no rapper. But that's the image they show everybody. Because they want you to feel like you always being judged. If you feel like you're always being judged, I ain't good. They're getting always judging. Yeah. Then you're going to go online and find a community of clown hairs and join the Facebook group clown hair group 
We all had a clown. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> they scour YouTube, find teachings against things that should not even be, why is this being judged? Why is anybody even talking about this? Romans 14 and 10. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. So we ain't judging this old stupid stuff, condemning people to hell because of what they're wearing and how they look. That's not what it's about. We're not sending you to hell. We're trying to help you live right here so you won't have hell on earth. Amen. Loosen that dress, young lady. Button it up. So everybody don't assume things about you. Make your life easier. Amen. That's good advice to help you. We ain't condemning you to hell. Can I preach in this place? I feel like I am. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, because that's on YouTube now. And folks watch it and listen to them and take notes. You taking notes and he can't even write notes yet. You taking notes? No, he did. Oh, Lord, did he preach? No, he didn't preach. I don't even have to hear it and I know he ain't preaching. He ain't preaching. He's acting like a preacher. And folks see that, oh God, God is using, hey, he said the young daughters and sons, <laughs> they want to hear that because the real preacher's word is too tough for them. <laughs> Brother, you're just, you're just so hard in your message, he lets us all off the hook. That's because he's thinking about candy and toys. Let me get this over with so I can... <laughs> Where is my lunch box? Where is my lunch? Oh, I'd be so glad when I can take this towel off and use it as a whip. My magic whip. <laughs> People crazy. But that's who they want to listen to. They want to hear a novice. Somebody that just started that hasn't researched. They don't want to hear somebody that's well learned, yeah. elder. They don't want to hear that. And then the dumb thing they do is when somebody's well learned, they come, brother. Have you heard this about Christmas? And then send you somebody that just started uploading stuff. Yeah. Brother, I've been doing this a long time. I don't want to hear what he got to say. Right. That's right. Oh, well, you just can't be taught. Not by you. Right. No. Who are you? Right. Who are you? <laughs> Sometimes you just got to ask that question. Who are you? Novices and unlearned individuals are taking the YouTube, posting their beliefs so that those with the same hurt and trauma will connect with them, follow them, and further distance themselves from truth and mature leadership. It's a trap. Bible calls it a snare. This is hurting our young people and leading them down paths of isolation, regret, and then ultimately, unbelief. You can't help nobody that don't believe. Everything we are is contingent upon our belief. Amen? If they don't believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, they can't be saved. They can't be ministered to. You can't talk them into it. They have to believe. Summary! I feel like I preached. This was good and you needed this. This is holiday time. You know the holidays coming around. You know this is separation time. Those that want, those that don't want in our community. One of the greatest distractions of believers are religious rights. People are told they cannot do this or that or this is pagan and that is unlawful they say if you do this God will be more pleased and if you do not do this God will prefer the ones that do it over you how many of you know God has no respect of person 
He don't operate like no person. God is not you. People are taught that you must observe parts of the law and not the whole law. While others are told that just that because Jesus observed parts of the law, it's okay to keep some of it. All of these philosophies are promoted to distract us from the truth of Jesus Christ. The real truth is that Jesus Christ came to not only pay for our sins in place of ordinances and rights, but he came to bridge the gap so we could walk with him and be the living sacrifice that we once were in the garden. That was the whole point. To be with us again in fellowship. So the ordinances and different things were a shadow of things to come. It brought us in an understanding of who God was. But it didn't bring us in his presence. It kept us away from his presence. Because we could not fulfill it. Jesus fulfilled it to bring us into his presence again in relationship with him. Amen? Y'all believe that? I don't like all them, I don't like when folks say, well, see, I don't believe in religion. I believe in relationship. Well, I believe in religion because the Bible said good religion is taking care of the fatherless and being unspotted from the world. So good religion is a good thing. Christianity is a good religion. Amen. It's not the white man's religion. It's the religion of Jesus Christ. And that whole, I just have to, have, I don't want no religion. I want relationship. That means you don't want no authority. If you don't want authority and you don't want God's order, you don't want Jesus. The Bible said Jesus was so much in order with God's will that he came down in the form of a servant. Yes, sir. That's right. In obedience to God. So you can't be in Christ and not be obedient. So you can't have relationship without religion and have Christ. His religion comes with him. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. I preach this thing. The real truth is that Jesus came to not only pay. Oh, where did I stop? There's no need for the law until sin entered in the Garden of Eden. Because Jesus came and took away our sins, we can be in Edenic standing with God again. This negates the need for us trying to perform sacrificial rites and ordinances. It negates it. Jesus fulfilled the law. Look at somebody say, Jesus fulfilled the law. Now, he is the embodiment of the fullness of the Godhead. So if we have him, we don't need to redo anything he has already done. How you going to go do the vow of a Nazarite? And grow your hair long. He already did that. He already paid that. How you gonna go kill a bull and burn it and offer that up to the Lord? Jesus already paid that. You can't go redo stuff. That's right. right. Amen. This is not licensed to live any kind of way, though. But we don't have to preach that. We don't have to preach that. Because if you're close to Jesus, you will try to live a holy life consecrated unto God. So I don't have to put that addendum in there. That's the whole point. We must stop following all of the do's and don'ts of YouTube and seek a true relationship with Jesus Christ. If it's not a heaven or hell issue, then why is it an issue? Why am I arguing to you about the Sabbath? And I'm going to heaven and I don't observe it and you do. The Bible said remember it. I remember it. I do. But on Sunday I'm preaching. I'm working. On Saturday I'm working. I'm doing something. But I'll take a day of rest but it don't have to be that day. And I'm going to go to heaven. 
And you're going to have, so why are we sitting here and can't come together and even eat anymore? Because we disagree on something that's not a heaven or hell issue. Well, it's not a, see, brother, this is what they say now. It's not a heaven. Not exactly a heaven or hell. Wait, what? Well, it's not exactly a heaven or hell. See, the issue is Jesus, God just wants it. This is something that he wants, so he'll be more pleased. So he'll be more pleased with you than me? So heaven does have a ghetto. Are <laughs> we all going to the same part? <laughs> I preach it here, boy. Folk don't like this kind of message. Yeah, the do's and don'ts of YouTube. Man, sure there are things that summon spirits and flee, feed our flesh. We can talk about those. By all means, stay away from those things. But holidays, new moons, Sabbaths, Dietary restrictions, festivals, and feasts are not salvation issues. And therefore, they should not be debated or cause divisions among us. This is why it's so important. Look at somebody say, it's so important. This is why it's so important to be under a knowledgeable and God-given leader. So that you do not fall into the deception of law keepers and those that do not have or have not been in a true loving fellowship with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Angry folks. Yeah. Angry folks. Maturity in Christ teaches us beyond our emotions and gives us God's logic. The closer we get to him, the less important religious rites and ordinances become. Then... We will stop using our beliefs to get back at people, punish ourselves, and contradict the teachings of those that we despise. That's a good, that was a good clapping point right there, because that's why they do it. That's why they do it. They use their beliefs to get back at people they're angry with. Once it becomes about love and not philosophy, then we will point to the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus instead of our pain and trauma. Look at somebody and say, do not be distracted. Do not be distracted by the sudden rise of opposition to Christianity. This is what CERN was created to do in Christianity. Have you ever wondered why now? Why all of a sudden is everything anti-church? Look at somebody say, don't be distracted. Don't be distracted by the sudden rise of opposition to Christianity. It is an attack on your faith and your belief. Dig in. Look at somebody say, dig in. Dig, dig in and plant yourself under sound teaching so you will not be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Amen. Amen. Nobody says it better than Paul. Colossians 2 and 6. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with what? Thanksgiving. Beware, lest any man mess you up with dumb philosophies. And vain deceit, meaning that it's personal. The way they feel because somebody did something to them. So they're deceiving people. After the tradition of men. After the rudiments of the world. And not after what? Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in him. Let somebody say complete. complete. You are complete in him which is the head of all principality and power, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands and putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who hath raised him from the dead. And you being dead in your sins, and the uncircumcision of your flesh hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you, how many? All. 
all of your sins. Blotting out the handwriting. Uh oh. Blotting out. Blotting. You know what it means to blot something out? Erase it. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us. And then he took it out of the way, doing what? Having spoiled principalities and power, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Oh, this part right here. Can I read this next part? So after we've gone through all of this, all that Jesus did, all how powerful he is, and how he's the fullness of the Godhead bodily, he dwelleth all in him, he made a show of the principalities, he defeated them all, then he blotted out all these ordinances, all these old, don't do this, don't do that, he blotted all those out, the handwriting of them, all that, after he did all that, so, since we know all of that now, let no man, how many men? No. Let no man therefore judge you in meat, in drink, or in respect of a holy day, or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath days. Which are a shadow of things to come. But the body is what? Of Christ. Everyone stand to your feet. Man, you can't argue with the word. If you want to have an argument against what the word just said, we don't have nothing to talk about. Made a show of them openly. It's a tough time for us as believers. It's a tough time for us to just get along with people. Because everybody has something that they heard on YouTube that they believe now. And it's just hard. It's hard to, man. So some of us, need, we need help with this. We don't want to be argumentative. We want to operate in peace and love. We want to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Amen. Amen. This don't require an argument. This requires prayer when I'm not here. Amen. So right now, I'm just going to get along. We're going to slap these dominoes. And eat this pumpkin pie, and we're gonna be our, we're not even gonna talk about this. I'm gonna handle this later in prayer. Amen. 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 You need that spirit on you. If I'm talking about you, just come on up. You need help with, in this area, just getting along with family, getting along with loved ones that have gotten heads full of stuff. They've owned all of these different doctrines and beliefs and different things, and it makes it hard for you. God is gonna give you special grace. He's going to give you special grace to help your communication, your compatibility, you being able to be around family, to love family, and to not have to argue and defend your positions. And then you're going to be able to pray for them. Pray for them. That God would deliver them from YouTube. Deliver them from YouTube. Deliver them from swiping. Watching, listening, changing. Brother, you, you, you had an afro last week. Now your hair is a perm. Oh yeah, well I saw this video that said that the ancient Egyptians would put fire past their hair through the fire. Brother, <laughs> what are you watching? <sighs> Anyone else? This is tough stuff I know. Father God, we thank you. We give you glory and we give you honor in this place. And we don't want to take it lightly what was preached in this place. How deep this goes for many of us. Father God, to sit and watch our family totally, people that we know, that we love, totally taken away, taken out of our lives by something they watched, something they heard from someone they don't even know. Father God, that is heavy for many Many marriages have suffered. Many husbands have left wives and wives have left husbands. Children have left their homes. Many are at odds with their parents, at odds with their brothers and sisters and loved ones because of a video, because of something they saw. And the only reason it registered, to the, registered with them was because they were already angry. They were already offended. And 
someone else that was offended implanted something in their hearts that seems impossible to reason with. So Father, we pray right now for them. We pray for our loved ones. We pray for our brothers, our sisters. We pray for our friends. We pray for those, God, that we know that have just, these things have caught their eyes and their ears. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and most importantly, the pride of this life has caused them to gravitate toward teachings that are anti-biblical, teachings that are not sound doctrine, teachings that are against your word and what you taught. Now they believe things that are set up in their lives to do nothing but cause divisions. Divisions between those that they love. Divisions between those that you've called them to. Divisions, Father, to keep them out of church. Keep them away from church. Keep them away from sound leadership, sound doctrine. Divisions to keep them, Father God, from getting wisdom from those that are older and more mature. So we pray against these divisions right now. And we call their names out. Come on, call their names out right now. We call their names out right now in this sanctuary, Lord. We ask, Father God, for grace for them. That they would have a better understanding. Father God, that they would lay down those things that they adopted just because of emotional issues and mental issues. Father God. We pray right now that you will heal that trauma, heal that emotional issue, heal that area of their life that's making them pull in all of this weird knowledge and wisdom. Help them to get off that quest to find themselves on the internet and on YouTube. And Father, we pray that you give us grace. Just lift your hands right now. We pray you give us grace, God, to speak when we should, but to not speak when we shouldn't. Give us grace and understanding. Father God, give our mouths what to say and what not to say. Father God, lead us, navigate us through these conversations so that we will not make things worse, but we will leave the door open whenever that person is ready to come to the knowledge of the truth. We give you glory in this, Lord. We give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hug somebody and say, I thank God for this word. And I thank God for you. Thank God for you. Things are going to be better this year in your family. Hallelujah. Don't let it get you down. Pray for them. Love on them. Love on them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't leave. Please take your seats and don't leave. Amen. Amen. We're going to do our offering and then we're going to bring Sister Keandra back. She can bless us again, Sister Lockett. So, amen. God is good.